Well, good morning. It's David George Brooke, that gratitude guy with the daily gratitude news for July 9th, 2020. And in today's news, we want to focus on a couple of things, our career, our ability to make a living, and our positive emotions. And just to get to the science today, let's just take a moment, though, first, during this newscast to think about how grateful you are to have a career to be able to earn a living, to be able to work for somebody and to uh, support yourself, not have to worry about living off the government or some form of subsistence or what have you. So in the uh, literature for today, gratitude boosts our career. Gratitude makes you a more effective manager, helps you network, increases your decision-making capabilities, increases your productivity and helps you to find mentors and protégés. As a result, gratitude helps you achieve your career goals, that's cool, as well as making your workplace a more friendly and enjoyable place to be. You know, they say that 70% of the people in the country hate their jobs, so that's certainly a positive. It says, I'm not suggesting that criticism and self-focus don't have a place in the workshop workplace, but I think we're overdoing it a bit. So according to one study, 65% of Americans didn't receive recognition in the workplace last year. Gosh, so sad. A bit more gratitude and work <clears throat> might be nice for us all. With, with, with lists that have been come out over the years, what's the most important thing somebody wants in a job? The usual runaway number one bestseller, <laughs> number one, is appreciation and recognition. Money and wages and different things are often down the list a little bit. Gratitude strengthens our positive emotions. Gratitude reduces feelings of envy, makes our memories happier, lets us experience good feelings, and helps us bounce back from stress. And as we know, stress is a killer. Gratitude develops our personality. It really does, it says. More optimistic, less materialistic, more spiritual, less self-centered, and more self-esteem. Boy, those are good things to, uh, to focus on. So, and then the last thing for today, how gratitude affects our personality. Gratitude makes us more optimistic. That's kind of been the theme here. Gratitude is, is strongly correlated with optimism. Optimism in turn makes us happier, improves our health, and has been shown to increase lifespan by as much as a few years. Incredible. I'd say a five minute daily gratitude journal would be worth it just for that benefit. And we talked about the gratitude journal yesterday. I mentioned the one that I use, the Brooker's Daily Gratitude Journal, but any one that you get is fine. You get a spiral notebook, but it makes that big of a difference. So that's the message for the day. I'm that gratitude guy. Remember, be grateful and never quit.